Hi guys, it's David T from Field Sports Scotland and I'm coming to you with a kind of, this is not an episode as such, I'm just doing a little bit of zeroing uh, with the 270 and the 223 today and it just got me to thinking, like I check my zero at least once a week, um, even even if I haven't missed anything in a while, I just, like I haven't missed anything in a while, <laughs> that's for fact, but um, I just thought to myself, how many times do people actually check their zero? Because I've had a number of guests, especially recently and things like that, where they've talked to me about, oh, well, I haven't had my gun out of the cabinet for about a week or, or, or sorry, a, a year or a couple of years or since my last renewal and um, I want to get the rifle out, want to do a bit of stocking and things like that. And then we spend <clears throat> usually a good couple of hours trying to set them up or, like on the hoof. Um, they're not. They're only willing to pay for like one day uh, stocking, so we try and do everything in that one day, and it's well, that's fine. That, to be fair, that's fine if it takes a whole day for uh, sort the rifle out. I'd rather that than uh, or tend to use my one if that that becomes the case. We don't usually take that long to sort a rifle out for zeroing. I'm just wondering at what point, how often do people zero now i was just thinking to myself and i thought well i'll check check the 223 check the 270 and um it's kind of it was awful little i'm not saying i'm not saying it was off huge amounts it was definitely kill shots i use a small target to check my zeros um the 270 has shot a few recently um and i've not seen any performance issues with it at all um I, but that's basically on an animal. You think you've should that we're not during the heat at the moment. You think oh well you've aimed there, you might have aimed here, that sort of thing, an inch off or two inch off. You never really worry about as long as you're uh, as long as the animal's dead and there's no wounded and you haven't got shot it or you haven't done something silly to it or whatever. And most of, as anybody knows, most of my deer are headshot uh, or upper neck shot. So generally, I've got a couple of inches play um, at 100 yards, a little less when you get into the 200 and 300 and I rarely headshot past 200 yards, It's uh, that's just stupidity. Um, so I like, I just thought well I've not had any problems, it's a gorgeous day, I'm taking some maintenance time, I'm going to oil up the guns and stuff like that, see what maintenance need and these two don't really need that much maintenance because they're out literally constantly right now. Um, and I'll just show you. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest with the target. I use a little homemade fox target, it's not very big. Um, the, uh, the targets are um, two inch shooting C's, um, two and a half inch two shooting C's. And we'll, we'll have a, a look at how far I was kind of off. You probably can see how I'm holding this up. Um, <clears throat> these are cold bore shots, the first shots, bear in mind. Uh, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on cold bore shots. I don't tend to put emphasis on cold bore shots at all um, because usually all my shots are cold bore. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's just the way it is. Um, let's have a look. <clears throat> let's analyse this a little. I'm trying not to scratch my car with a wee frame. <clears throat> so. So here's the, the 223 target, as you say, it's like length of my finger, a couple of inches. Um, this is the first shot, I was off about an inch and a half to the, an inch-ish to the, um, to the right. Still on target, cold bore shot. It would have been a dead fox, this is like a lot of it smaller than the fox's whole target, so obviously going to be a dead fox, you know, that's not... It's not a big deal. If I took that shot on a on a fox, it would definitely be a a, a, a dead fox. And and here's the 270. I was a little high. It's bashed about in the truck quite a lot actually. I was hit, uh, hitting a little high here, three or uh, four clicks down, and I'm I'm back into the center. I'm not going to mess about with that. I could have pulled it a little. I was shooting off the bonnet, whatever you know. Um, but genuinely. Windage is almost identical, um, so I'm probably I might just click, click one to the right, but I doubt it. I just I think I'll just leave it. I'm happy with that. Again, 
both shots would be a dead fox uh, if I was shooting foxes and definitely well to be fair that whole fox target is probably my target on a deer sometimes so get it off there so there's the rifles I've been messing about with today so that in a way then kind of gets me to think right I check my zero as I said once a week two rounds you know, just two rounds of ammunition. It's not wasted. It's it, um, it gets me out if it's nice as well, especially if it's nice. Like today, it's about 20 degrees. Um, I know it's like in almost midway through September. The last few days have just been roasting. Um, seek a rut kind of started. I was hearing whistling everywhere when we had some a, a couple of cold nights there. And last, not last night, the night before, I was out, and it was. Not a whistle to be heard, so um, it's just one of those things. But, back to the zero side of things, how important is it to check your zero? And I think, to me, I, I have a regime where, as I said, once a week, I find a spot in the wood, or I find a spot, or I come down to one of the farms, or whatever, and I just put a couple of rounds, or even if it's just one round. If it's dead on in the first cold bore shot, then it's dead on every time. But it's just to make sure that that zero is there because without the zero, without me knowing that the zero is constant, I don't know if there's any faults with the rifle, especially at this time of year where you get bashed about and messed about and all sorts of stuff and things are falling out the truck and things are leaning on things and it's a bit hectic at this time of year. So in that sense, I tend to like just make it a practice. So, how important is zero for you? It should be very important because knowing that your rifle is full on, don't go hunting without you know, knowing that your rifle is dead on. I zero dead on because the fact is then my holdovers and then my uh, clicks and whatever on certain rifles are perfect. Um, so, and there's always variables and wind and things to deal with. Now, if I remember correctly with the 223, it was a bit windy the last time I checked zero and I might adjust it. And that might be the reason why it's off to the right slightly. But, again, um, it's not missed anything. It's not caused me any issues. Um, and it's not far off enough to, to worry at 100 metres or 200 metres. It's when you start pushing it out to that 300 metres. Now, if you're only a, an inch or two off from the centre, then that's not a big deal. But, it's when you get guys that come to me and I've noticed that with the first shot you can't even hit the target that's when I start getting worried what's going on what else is going on what is the is the mounts correct is the, like I know all the mounts are torqued up and everything on these they're checked regularly enough um, the night vision scopes get I actually um, don't hold keep the zero in all the time I often factory reset them reinstall everything and stuff like that maybe once every few months or so just to get refresh all the settings clear the memories and stuff like that so and with the day scopes all my day scopes get checked all my day scopes get checked i'm just about to do the 243 night vision on that one and see how that how far that is but again i checked that last week and it was spot on so zero is important just as i said short 10 minute video just to say zero is important just double check triple check if you have to but just make sure very regular intervals check your zero especially if you've got a hunting trip planned have a good one happy hunting stay safe i'll catch you in a bit oh just uh just to add uh, i will have a podcast coming out this weekend in um I'm, i don't i'm not going to talk about what it's on yet uh but catch the podcasts here uh, on fss chatback as i said happy hunting Stay safe. Have a good one.